The Freeze Frame Transition Today's video is sponsored by Dr. Phil. Drag a fusion cross dissolve between your clips and open the transition in the fusion page. Double click to the transition node, select the dissolve, double click to the background foreground slider to reset it, right click on it and select expression. Type down this expression to get the transition right in the middle. Select the first clip and add a time stretcher node after. Keep the source time value to zero so you'd always have the freeze frame at the first frame. Select the second clip and add another time stretcher node. Uncheck the keyframe button for the source time slider, right click on it and select expression. Type down this simple expression to get the freeze frame at the last frame. Select the transition node and add a merge node after. Bring a paper texture image into your flow and connect it to the merge node as a foreground. Select the merge node, adjust the size if you have to and change the apply mode to color dodge. Adjust the blend and the gain sliders to your liking. Add a transform node after and change the edges to mirror. Right click to the center value and select to modify it with shake. Go to the modifiers tab and bring down the smoothness slider. Back to the tools tab, right click to the size slider and select to modify it with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, check the mirror box, set the scale to two and the offset to one. Bring a stop motion node after and set the frame repeat to 3. With this setup, you can adjust the duration and the position of the transition and you'll always get correct freeze frame for both of your clips. Keep this technique in mind for some future more advanced tutorials. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, that's your own problem.